Six billion dollars once we're gonna get through on the American ship. Don't do it. It's not worth it. It's taken out with the sea whistle. Oh god, and the nick of time, but they've made it through. They've just Hello, valued viewers. I hope you're all doing wonderfully well, and welcome to the sixth and final installment of the 2027 Carrier Battles. So far, we've done America versus China, and America won. Then we did UK versus Russia, and UK just about won. Then we did UK versus China, and it was a draw. Then we we did UK versus America and America won. Then we did Russia versus China. This was a bit of a weird one. China firstly won fair and square, but then due to some tech problems, Russia came back and it was a draw. And we'll be addressing those tech problems today. So that leaves us with the grand finale as US and UK team up on blue versus China and Russia on red. Viewers, this is an extremely important battle and I've got a lot of information to throw at you and it is all important. So if you can, please do stay for the talky bit before we do the shooty bit. It really makes the battle worthwhile. So first, every time I put one of these battles up, you reply with five or six hundred YouTube messages and I read through them because listening to your feedback is very important to improve the battles. So the first thing you said is lots of complaints. On the previous battles, you noticed that a lot of the air-to-air -air fighters on all of the coalitions were choosing to shoot down hostile missiles rather than hostile aircraft. And this led to some strange scenarios, including the controversial draw between Russia and China. Well, I've tried every way to stop the aircraft shooting down the missiles. It's just something that's been added to core game recently, and I've absolutely failed. So what I've decided to do is change the whole dynamic of the battle. To stop these aircraft shooting at the missiles, I've now stopped the missiles from being fired altogether until later on. So what you'll see now is first the air-to-air -air fighters taking off and duking it out, trying to gain air superiority. Then after 18 minutes into the sim, all of the ships will switch from holding Hold fire to free fire and then the missiles will start. It's a bit strange and it's different from how we've always done it but I see no reason why it shouldn't work fine. Next few of requests, we've recently done quite a few videos on America's new AIM-174B missile and you guys asked if I can put it into this carrier battle. I did try but ran into some problems. The reason being to get this missile to work in DCS I have to mess with the radars on the aircraft and what that does is put the rest of the battle out of balance. So for the time being I'm going to miss it out until we find a way of doing it. Next, and this is an important one and probably a very controversial one, last week you guys sent me images and videos out of China showing that they have apparently upgraded the FC-31 to an FC-31B. An FC-31 is the development version of this guy here, the J-35, China's future 5th gen naval aircraft. Apparently, as the videos say, they're trying to leapfrog the F-35 by changing the ways the weapons are stored in the aircraft, allowing them now up to four short-range missiles and four medium-range missiles in one aircraft, which does indeed supersede the capability of the American F-35. I've watched the videos, and as far as I can tell, it's true, so I guess we allow it. So we'll see how that changes the battle. Next complaint, viewers, uh, we do UK, we do US, we do China, we do Russia all the time. But you guys have said, hey, what about my country? What about France carrier groups? What about India carrier groups? What about other carrier groups around the world? Uh, well, I would love to do them, viewers. Trust me, I would love to do them. But I just don't have the ships in-game at the moment. I need the ships. The French need the Frems. Well modelled. I don't have it yet. India needs all of its ships and its carrier, and I don't have any of that stuff yet. And I don't want to hash it together and really bodge it. So let's just wait until we get the assets in DCS. We'll get them eventually, and then we'll do them. Next, a couple of complaints about the Russians. The Russians haven't been uh, operating super well in this series. They've been the weakest force so far. You guys have said, hey, but in 2027, surely Russia will have its Super Gorshkov, oh, sorry, the Gorshkov M, the more modern variant of what we've got here, and the Kirov M, the battle cruiser. And I do kind of agree with you viewers. They probably will have that, but it's the same thing. I don't have them in DCS yet. CH is working on them, and he will do them at some point. But, you know, a year, two years, I don't know. It'll be a long time down the road. Road. And I don't want to keep waiting. I want to get this done. So I apologize that I don't have the most modern Russian ships as per this time period, but we'll just have to suck it up. I'll add them to the next series when I have them available. Uh, final complaint, MiG-29KR. I've only been allowing them six missiles. Apparently the real aircraft can carry eight missiles and you are right. I double checked it and I can sort of do that in DCS. 
However, I've just looked back at the previous two battles that Russia have done in this series and not once did one of the MiG-29s use all of their missiles. So even if I added them now, it's not going to make any difference. So I've just not bothered for today. If anything, it will just slow them down. Finally, you've given me some feedback for the next series that you want me to do because this is, of course, the last of this series. And I think we'll just talk about that at the end because uh, I could drone on for a while about that. I'll talk about that at the end of the video. So today, viewers, US have one CB supercarrier, six Arleigh Burke Flight 3 destroyers, two E-2 Hawkeye, 18 F-35C in fleet defense with a 0.002 square meter radar cross section, 18 FA-18F anti-ship Super Hornets plus another 18, so three large squadrons. Total, seven ships, 56 aircraft. And this is the same setup we've done for the whole of the series. Nothing has changed. For the UK, we have one CV QE. We have four Type 45 DDGs. I think we're going to need that today for the anti-ballistic missile defense. In fact, I know we are. Two aggressive Type 26 frigates. Uh, we're borrowing American AEW today. A squadron 14 F-35Bs in fleet defense radar cross-section. Same as the Americans, 24. So that's two squadrons of F-35B in anti-ship. Seven ships and four. 40 aircraft. Chinese 1CV Type 003, 2 Type 055 destroyers, 4 Type 052D destroyers, 2 AWACS uh, E2D in for KJ600 today, Large Squadron 18J35B, so simulating the current development version they're showing off now, the FC31B with their 8 missile carrying capability. Fleet Defense 0.005 square meter radar cross section, 2 squadrons J15B flanker anti ship total. 7 ships and 50 aircraft and Russia 1 CV they're modernized Kuznetsov 6 Gorzhkov not Gorzhkov M just Gorzhkov it's the best I can do for the moment uh, they're borrowing Chinese AEW today 2 squadrons 1 squadron MiG-29KR fleet defense and 1 squadron anti-ship total 7 ships and 32 aircraft the set out is the same as normal viewers it's 220 land miles between factions UK US China and Russia. And into the nitty gritty details, which is what separates the men from the boys, so to speak. We have UK. All formations are the same and symmetrical and have been proved to be the best formation we can do in the sim. So we have Queen Liz there and we have her Type 26 and Type 45. I'll blast through these as quickly as possible. So the Type 45 has 48 of the more modern Astas, 8 NSMs, which won't be used today because we don't have the range, and 24 C Scepters. The Type 26 has 48 C Scepters and importantly 16 Spear 5 supersonic anti ship missiles, which will be in range at 160 miles to fire at the other guys after about 40 minutes have elapsed. The British Air Wing, 14 F 35Bs which will have their modest loadout of two Meteors and two Asrams. Remember, the B model cannot have six internal missiles. The anti-shippers will have eight Spear 3 missile and two Asram. And on to the Americans today. We have their supercarrier here and her escorts in the same configuration are going to be six Arleigh Burke Flight 3, which are armed with a massive 42 SM2, 16 SM6, 6 SM3, anti-ship Tomahawk 24 and ESSM 32. Her air wing is the biggest air wing here first with a large squadron of F-35C as fleet defense carrying their probable best loadout in 2027 of four AIM-260 and two AIM-9X. Two large squadrons of FA-18F, each equipped with four hypersonic MAKO anti-ship missiles. You guys have requested that I mix it up a bit with Lorazm, um, but to be honest, I found a combination that works well for US in this series, and I don't want to change it. Maybe we'll look at changing it in the next series. And a couple of self-defense weapons. Remember that anti-shippers in the sim cannot use long-range weapons, short-range defense weapons only. And that's blues today. If we look at reds, we have China. We have the 003 plus escorts. Two type 055 there and there and the rest are 052D. 
The 055 has 24 HHQ-10 short-range missiles, 72 9B long-range surface-to-air missiles, 16 YJ-18 supersonic anti-ship missiles, and 8 YJ-21 hypersonic anti-ship missiles. Her air wing is nearly as big as the Americans. We start off with air-to-air -air fighters J-35A, uh, which we're going to increment to J-35B. Um, in case you skipped the previous bit, uh, China appears to be changing so that this aircraft can now carry eight missiles fully internally. The way I had to do it for the time being is put four on the wings out here, but we're going to imagine that they are all in the bay. So she has four PL-10 in the side bays and four PL-15 in the main weapons bays. Eventually we will get the graphics fixed, but it's just not that important at the moment. How much will that change the effectiveness of the J-35? Well, until we press the button, I have absolutely no idea, viewers. Next, we have the anti anti-shippers J-15B and if you remember they have uh, supersonic anti-ship missiles the way J-12 times 2 and self-defense weapons and finally we have the Russians Kuznetsov in the middle and all our Gorzhkov escort which have the 9M96D long range surface to air missile the 9M100 close range don't forget the 9M337 super close range in terms of offensive what they have the 3M55M that you may know as the P-800 Onyx supersonic anti-ship missile, the 3M-14T supersonic anti-ship missile, and they've also got recently added, but not in this slide, four Zircon hypersonic anti-ship missiles. Her air wing are two squadrons, MiG-29KR, probably the most likely to operate from the modernized carrier. The air, -air are configured with R-77M long-range missiles and R-74 short-range missiles and the anti-shippers you probably guessed are going to have um, KH-35U and R-74 self-defense missiles. And that is the detail, viewers, in terms of who attacks who. I've gone for a general approach for all carrier groups to make sure I don't bias towards anyone. So all anti-shippers of all coalitions will spread their missiles between the two hostile carrier groups. And that's the same on red and blue. In terms of the air-to-air, -air, they take off, they fly sidewards, and then they just attack whatever they need to attack. Which just leaves predictions, viewers. I like to make a prediction at the beginning, and when it comes to something this complex, there is no way of predicting. There are, I cannot express how many variables, and by the way, how much work goes into this from various people, but how many variables there are here. Making a prediction is just ridiculous, so I can't do it. Obviously, I want blue to win, but I can guarantee that I've not biased blue in any way. And here we go, viewers, the big one in three, two, one, unpause. I cannot express how <sighs> excited is not the right word, viewers. I think anxious is the right word. I desperately, desperately want the Blues to win. I desperately, desperately want everything to work properly. As I said, loads of effort has gone into getting everything to kind of work with each other. Lots of testing. I just hope a good battle, but I want Britain to win, obviously. Just cycling through the various ships, the Type 26 and the Type 45. Over to America, Arlie Burks today. And her supercarrier with her air wing. over to China or Russia first maybe a modernized concept so scoreboard is in small mode today viewers so I will shout it out as best I can so you know what's going on non-modernized Gorshkovs over to China they have a supercarrier playing the type 033 sorry the 003 And their Renhai class and their 055 and their 052D. A couple of flybys and then we'll speed things up until the air to air aircraft get in fighting distances. F35B from Britain. We have F35C from America. Or for America, I should say. We have J-35B now, um, and you're going to see four of the missiles under the wings, just because we haven't got round to doing the graphics for it yet, but we will do, uh, carrying its new payload of eight missiles, as per latest information, and we have the MiG-29KR. I said viewers, I'll speed forward until first contact. And we have first contact, first missile fired by F-35B, a meteor missile fired at a range of... 75 nautical miles. 
air breathing missile capable of over 100 miles range. Obviously, radar cross sections are modelled, so no aircraft are going to be shooting any of the stealths outside of 20 miles. The only long range shots will be on the fourth gen non stealthy MiG 29. I'm sure you will notice by now. Two meteors out. We are, wow, already 10 minutes into the simulation, and first meteor has gone active and chasing the MiG 29. Very hard to defeat a missile like this. Currently two and a half times the speed of sound and decreasing as we get into the thicker air. Will the MiG escape? Well, I don't know. It's a very, very powerful. It's actually the kinematically the most powerful jet here, the MiG-29. If anything is going to outrun a missile, it's going to be that. Down to Mark two. Yeah, it's going to beat it kinematically. Fair enough. Now, the one problem or the one worry I've got with the F-35 is they only have two long-range missiles. It's the problem with the F-35B. I could have given them four, but then they would have no close range stuff, which they really need, as we found out when they have to start fighting stealths. Yeah, MiG-29 has fully outrun that meteor. Another one is going to outrun it as well. This is why you need the AIM-60. The AIM-260 is going to be a much faster intercepting missile than the meteor. And fear is outrun it again. Five missiles out now, presumably all meteors. Down to Mark II. Again, he's just outrun it kinematically. And a red to fire the missile, and it is... Wow, J-35 is already firing a P-50. Oh, it's all kicking off now. Right, we have a bunch of... Is it going to catch him? Is it going to catch him? Is it going to catch him? Come on! Come on! God damn it! We've got the same 260 up here. Oh, buttons. and pressing the buttons. Now, that's a much faster missile. Now, something was going on right here. Oh, no, a Brit! No! Oh, damn it, the first kill to... No, China have lost one and Britain have lost one. But China have done bloody well. They've got loads of missiles out on our f 35 b probably because we didn't have enough missiles to fire back and keep them cold. Damn it! And another one. Oh, come on. Don't do it. Don't start this badly. Mm. Damn it. Three blues down. One red down. Not good. Not good at all. Wrong place. Wrong time. Wrong missiles. Fight the wrong people. Bad tactics. M260 has gone to space. All right. All right. Stick with it. Uh, three red missiles fired and three kills. Amazingly and worryingly. 14 blue missiles fired and only three kills. But remember, and I always say this. Often these things start off a little bit slow and an M260 turned round and came back on the F-35 and killed him. Two blues down. Uh, it's reds down, sorry. Come on, do better. Must do better. More uh, two-piece M260s out. Next generation uh, missile. Cost to blues. Half a billion. Wow, half a billion dollars. That's eye-watering. Cost to reds. 0.1 billion dollars. Come on, let's see some more kills of reds, please. Those MiG-29s are so hard to kill sometimes. We've got a MiGs fired a radar-guided missile. If that kills this guy, I'm going to eat my hat. Don't do it. Just don't do it. Why are the blues flying so shit? It's just a thing, viewers. It's just a thing. They've got to get into their chi. This M260 smashing down the kinematic ability of the MiG-29. Look, nothing else. Nothing defeats that missile. It's so fast. It's Mark V capable. We've got an Azram, a close-range IR-guided missile. Come on. Sink that Chinese human. Well done. Five to four. Blues have taken the lead. I knew it. Oh, no. Don't do it. So far, J-35 missile carrying capability. Is doing, look at this. Look at this AIM-260. Overtake this meteor on the way to the MiG-29. MiG-29 is finally out of kinematics. It's just got too slow and it can't outrun a missile. Zoosh! Ashby de la Zoosh! Beautiful stuff. We have now, yes, the Blues are now, they're really getting into their stride now. They've got plenty of AIM-260s out. Time is 14 minutes in, four minutes until the ships open up. Bash! Uh, reds have lost eight. Blue have lost five. That's the kind of numbers I like. Oh, nine down. The, yeah, the MiG-29s did well to begin with when they had their big KE. But now they've run out of KE, they have nowhere to hide. And the big missiles are going to take them down. 10 down, just missiles just pummeling in now from everywhere, and I can't even see most of the kills, but they're out there somewhere. This MiG-29 got dangerously close to this F-35, not a single F- oh yes, three F-35Cs down. Again, I missed all those kills, and I apologise for that, viewers. This guy appears to be out of ammo, his six missiles have been depleted. I can put missiles on the outer wings, viewers, but then I have to reduce the radar cross-section, and you will not like the result of that, trust me. Oh, it's name nine. It's gonna be a kill. Oh, it's not going to be a kill. Oh, but tell me, tell me, tell me. The archer isn't going to kill the American. It's not. Look at that beautiful display of evasion. We're going to have our today's first dogfight between F-35C and MiG-29KR. Kinematically, the MiG's more powerful, but 
I'm not sure it's going to pay off for him. In fact, he's just not doing the fight. He's got other things to worry about, I should imagine. A bunch of J35s have got close to American and British F35s, and they're exchanging AIM 260s and PL15 now. Yes! Look at that. He tried to fall it. Oh, we did fall it. Oh, we didn't. No, he did. Yes, he did. Damn it. Tell me he's not going to hit the American. Don't hit the American! Ah, oh, damn it. American down. Oh, Jesus. A load of blues have just gone down. 11. No, 11 reds down. 8 blues down. The time is now 16 minutes in. 2 minutes until the ships open up. I was hoping more of the air-to-air -air combat would be done by now, but it's not. And all the anti-shippers are coming out now. We've got MiG-29s with... Um, long range subsonic anti ship missiles. We've got F 30. No. No, Super Hornets? Yes, Super Hornets are taking off with their Mako hypersonic missiles. We've got British. British anti shippers are out with their uh, in bay Spear 3s. Another exchange by Meteor and F 35, but the Meteor has to be fired. It's perfect parameters to operate well, and it wasn't fired well, and damn it! You almost beat it. You see when it twists away like that? That's the radar cross section falling the missile, but they all have good reacquisition at this point with these modern missiles. Meteor is now still chasing those, guarding itself at this point. 14 red down, 9 blue down. As long as we can stay higher numbers, we're okay, viewers. And that's another one. 15 red down to 9 blue down. More missiles out from this Chinese sky. Uh, we are one minute away from naval warfare, viewers. Heat up your seats because things are about to get even more exciting. Missiles fired. Wow, only 16. Only 16 by China and 46 by America. What is that all about? I don't know is the answer. You'd have to sit and watch it in the replay, viewers, if you want to know exactly what's going on. But what really matters is the result. And the result is 15 red jets down and 10 blue jets down. It's still a bit close for comfort. And an Azram, an old missile, but a very effective missile. Takes down this Chinese gentleman. <sighs> right, are these air to air or air to ground? They are air to air. We've still got air to air fighters to take down the F-35Cs ingressing on them. And we've only got 40 seconds until the ships open up. And will it even work? I don't know. In terms of testing, I've tested everything in isolation, but I've not tested it together because I don't want to know what happens, viewers. And you don't want me to know either. J-35 with this new payload of eight missiles slinging PL-15s willy-nilly at the British. 16 reds down to 11 blues down. Amazingly, the same amount of J-35s down as MiG-29. It's probably just the amount that's taken off and got to the good evasion. Finally, the stealth starting to come into play there. We have a real merge in the middle here with MiG-29 firing its modernized adder at an American gentleman. And uh, we've got another dogfight here. And a dogfight missile on R-74 has finally run... The American out of legs, 17 reds down, and it's all kicking off now. The ships are now firing. We've got, oh, I don't know, loads of missiles. 37, 40 anti-ship missiles out. Blues are also sending anti-ship missiles out. 10. We've got YJ-21s doing hypersonic YJ-21 things. We've got YJ-18 doing supersonic YJ-18 things. Sorry, I'm not covering the battle viewers, but we've got a show the viewers. We've got Zircon, hypersonic... Uh, ballistic, semi-ballistic Zircon. We've got Caliber supersonic anti-ship missiles. We've got P-800 Onyx supersonic anti-ship missiles. We've got <gasps> from America Tomahawk t Lamb Block 5A. Sorry about the uh, visual bug. It will sort itself out. Look at what's happening there because all the missiles are going out. They're firing their whole battery, if I can click on it, which I can't, of SM-3 uh, anti-ballistic uh, missile. Missile. Look at that for a view. Also, SM6 as well going in. We've now had 21 red aircraft shot down for 15 blue aircraft shot down. And the SM3 are now intercepting the Zircon. But that's all going on as well as this. You can see it all getting jerky and laggy. Let's check out the CPU counter. We are working the CPU to its extremity right now, viewers. It's possible when this happens, you will get small bugs happening, viewers, but it should equal itself on either side. This PL-15 chases this British F-35 that's got all this way in there. Now just a giant bunch of words and stuff and, and words and everything is happening right now. 23 reds down for 16 blues down. Zircon smashing over the center. And YJ-21 now coming in. The asses have got to defeat these YJ-21s. They are the latest block and they are rated for anti-ballistic work, so they should be able to do it. <gasps> Yes, I think that was just lag happening. Yes, that was lag happening. It's a thing. SM6, America is helping its its cousin across the pond by sending in wholly ineffective SM6s, but I'll take anything I can get. I do not want my carry to be shot down. Uh, um, sip of tea needed. 
23 red aircraft down to 17 blue aircraft down. YJ-21 smashing it. Why is everyone picking on Britain? Why is all the hypersonics are going for Britain? Why is this happening? They've got Zircon and YJ-21 coming for Britain. Do not want... No, I take that back. Zircon is also going for America. 25 red aircraft down. SM-3 intercepts to 17 blue aircraft down. 170 missiles fired by a red. 100... 10 anti-ship missiles fired by blue, 213 SAMs out by blue. We must not get overwhelmed, we must not get overwhelmed. Just one of these missiles comes through, it could sink a carrier. 26, red aircraft down to 19. Blue aircraft down. Blue have fired twice as many air-to-air -air missiles. Red have fired 170 anti-ship missiles. Blue have fired 130 anti-ship missiles. Blue have fired 220 SAMs. Red have fired no SAMs. <sighs> Azram's out and doing Azram things in the middle of this absolute mayhem and a J-35 gets shot down as he responds to his British cousins. MST's out. So far, UK, US is okay with no ships hit. US, UK, oh, both blues are okay with no ships hit and the MST is the only thing fired anti-ship so far of going to take half an hour to get across the battlefield. <sighs> Now, what's happening here? Anti-ship MiGs have fired their anti-ship weapons. Here they are, the KH-35s. Oh, no! So the first airborne anti-ship missiles were fired. But look, the uh, SM-6 are shooting them down. But it doesn't matter at this point because they fired their missiles. They are just surplus. Most of the air-to-air -air work has been done. And Blue's won it, but only just. With 29 red air... 30 red aircraft shot down. And 22 blue aircraft shot down. No, these guys are all air-to-air. -air. This flank has still got air-to-air -to, -air to play. J-15s are out with their supersonic YJ-12 uh, anti-ship missiles out, getting dangerously close to firing. I'm going to turn the CPU counter off now. The immediate threat is over. Okay, well, now we've got them next ma- Oh, God. That's going to be a nightmare for America to defend. You've got probably 30, 40, 50 supersonic anti-ship missiles now all mixed in with the MSTs because they're all fired at the same time. Their radars are going to have all sorts of problems defending that, but they're going to do their best. Let's have a look at the American ships. Fire man, fire more, fire the everything button. You must stop this salvo of Chinese and Russian missiles. Cost to reds, $2.2 billion. Cost to blue, $5.4 billion. And nothing actually lost yet. Overview is where it's going to be at, viewers. As we've got supersonic YG-18s coming for the British carrier group. Oh, my face is hurting. It's literally hurting at this point. We've got these guys going for America. Got to put the CPU counter on. If I ever stress the CPU, we have to be careful, viewers, because it will stop things working. So far, we're okay. Calibers being intercepted by SM2s and everything, and everything's now happening. America have pushed the everything button. Frame rate's going down. CPU is now at 60% use. If it gets to 100%, we lose it, viewers. We lose it. Cost of blue of six billion dollars. One's going to get through on the American ship. Don't do it. It's not worth it. It's taken out by the sea whistle. Oh God, in the nick of time. But they've made it through. They've just overwhelmed. What about the... No, yes. 80% CPU used. Amazing that nothing's got through yet. We, they are so close to getting through. Over to the Britain. Sorry, I'm not showing you three damage. They got through on the carrier. They got through on the carrier. God, I can't press the right button. Oh, sorry, viewers. Too stressed. I can't do it. Oh, come on. What was that? We've had Queen Elizabeth hit, and another one's going to hit. Press the right button. Bollocks faces. Chuff faces. F shit fuck. Bollocks. Oh, an American. American carrier's. American carrier's going to be hit. Oh. No, 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 no. It's too big. There's too much. It's too buku. There's not enough foo foo. We've survived. The carrier's still going. The carrier's still going. CPU back down to operational levels. I think the carrier's still operational. The American carrier's also been hit. Please, please say it's operational or we're out and we're dead. And Arnie Burke here. Here was all this firing going towards more missiles coming in. These are now the YJ air launch missiles. Who now be. I don't know what's happening. Brain failed. Turning the CPU counter off, viewers. We just stayed within limits there. I've got to have sympathy. An American car an American ship has been sunk. Okay. 
Reds have lost 32 aircraft, 15 J-35s and 17 MiG-29s, fired 190 anti-ship missiles and 70 SAMs at a cost of $2.4 billion. The Blues have lost 28 aircraft, equal on both coalitions. The Americans have lost one Arleigh Burke. One Arleigh Burke was lost in that melee. Why did it happen? It's because so many missiles were there and they were hidden with their, in their own missiles. It was impossible for the Americans to operate. Absolutely impossible. The Blues have fired... 144 anti-ship missiles and 600 SAMs, 600 Anglo-American SAMs have been fired. But 12 anti-ship missiles have been fired and I can't see where it is. We've got to just get our wits about us. No, because the threat. Always look at the biggest threat. Here's the biggest threat. There's some more supersonic sea-hugging anti-ship missiles going in. And the American carrier is damaged. It's a damaged carrier and they've lost one of their escorts. Come on, concentrate on what's important. Carrier groups, oh my god, we've lost $9 billion worth of stuff on blue. This is bad, bad, bad. Good shot. They shouldn't have a problem with that stuff. I've got to find where the air launch is. It's all about the air launch. There's still dogfights are going on in the middle of this. There's just too much to cover as we lose. I've no idea what that was. I think it was a British F-35B. Russia have fired many salvos of KH-35 from their MiG-29. You can see them here. There. Super Hornets are up with their Mako hypersonic missiles, but they've not fired yet. We've had more KH-35 use here. We've got SM-6s going in here. I don't know what they're doing. Many salvos now of YJ... 21 hyper supersonic anti-ship missiles have been fired by the J-15s, which I think have probably been targeted by these SM-6s. But it's waste, a waste of an SM-6, because by the time this SM-6 covers 200 friggin' miles, these guys have shot the missiles and they're on their way home. So all it's doing is wasting missiles. It's frustrating for everyone to see viewers. We've still got air-to-air -air combat. An F-35C, two F-35C, a British f 30 b taking on a J-35. But it looks like... Blue have won the air war, just, but really by the skin of their teeth. But it doesn't matter now because all that matters is the height, is the supersonic missiles coming in. Can Blue survive? Okay, US are mainly being picked on. These guys are going for Britain. Makos are out! Oh my god damn it! Makos are out from these two two Hornets. One was shot down, the other two managed to get their Makos out. With a huge salvo response of HQ-9Bs. 100 Sams out from Russia. 600 and... 30 missiles out, SAMs out from the Blues. Brain is just breaking down at this point. 32 air to ground missiles fired. That's the SM6 is shooting. The flankers on their way back home. Come on, Mako, make it through. How's it making through? I don't know, but I'm not going to complain. Yes, yes, yes. They just got through. They got through this. They just managed to get through. I don't know how, and I don't care, but it's a Chinese ship down. It didn't go for the carrier, which is a bit annoying, but there you go. All right, we're back in action, viewers. We are 28 minutes. Where's that 28 minutes gone on another full? This was a full salvo of Makos from three Super Hornets. How is it going to do? The 9M96s, which are theoretically capable, but how capable are they? They're up at Mark 8 at the moment, their maximum speed. There's just too much going on, viewers. But as well, America is being plastered by subsonic KH-35s and supersonic YJ-12s and stuff. And still air-to-air comments going on, but we've got to see the Makos. Concentrate on what's important. Some Russian ships have been hit. It's going for the carrier! It's going for the carrier! Oh, come on! What is that? What even is that? How could that happen? One's got through! One's got through, baby! Zoosh! Oh, but minor damage is a small warhead and it's minor damage and it's still an operational carrier and Reds are still winning. I say again, Reds are still winning in every possible way. Still, they're dog fighting and shooting down our guys. But look at that be the Brit that takes the last one down. He does with an old 1980s modernized Azram, but PL-10 is also operational against an American guy. Got to take stock viewers. Let's just look at the overview. The overview tells us all. The overview doesn't lie. Stats don't lie, people do lie. YJ-12 supersonic, and we've seen how dangerous these are, even against America. We've seen them get through America's shield before, viewers, even in this series. And it has got through again, and it's going to take on one of the destroyers. That's okay, America can afford to lose the picket, that's why the picket's there. But they took them down this time. They've lost one Arleigh Burke. One's almost dead and the carrier's wounded. And we've got some subsonic missiles tripling in here. Where is the British anti-shippers? The British anti-shippers are now firing. They're Spear 3. Small subsonic annoying little missiles that China just can't deal with. Or maybe they can. I don't know. All air-to-air -air is now done. The only air-to-air -air that survived were F-35Cs and F-35Bs. 
And they are all going home now. A huge amount of F-35Bs going through the middle here. They are anti-shippers. They're going to be launching their Spear 3. And we've got more Spear 3s out in here. No more Makos out yet. We need to keep an eye on that. And what about more salvos of YJ-12 coming in for these flankers here? KH-35s coming in here from the MiG-29s. And still more, they're going to launch more, more, more. And eventually, America and Britain are going to be overrun. We've already almost lost Queen Elizabeth. We've already almost lost the American carry, but we're hanging in by the skin of our T-42. Red aircraft down to 31. Blue aircraft down. And these guys are now firing their anti-ship missiles. They have fired their anti-ship missiles. I corrected. There they are. Constantly sucking at my T viewers, so I don't have the driest mouth in the world sure you care about that. The MSTs are slowly but inevitably working their way. The Tomahawk uh, 5As are working their way towards the ships. Cost to red, $4 billion. Cost to blue, $9.5 billion. All the Sams in the world are now going out to shoot down these Tomahawks. I apologise, I've not seen many 3D views today, viewers, but so much is happening. If I concentrate on 3D views, you're going to lose the overview. What's happening? And we'll never get that back. 960s intercepting. Got to check the CPU counter. 30%. We're good. Okay, now Tomahawks are being shot down, but that's okay because as they get shot down, every time they get shot down, the Reds lose their Sams. Reds have now fired nearly 300 Sams. Blues have fired nearly 700 Sams. Anti ship missiles. Reds have fired 206 anti ship missiles. Blue have fired 184 plus 47 air launch anti ship missiles. Ooh, right. Multiple salvos of Spear 3 out. Mail up another. Another salvo of Makos comes in over the MSTs. This could be brilliant work this is from this batch of super hornets here at the chinese carrier group this is exactly what we need to sneak through while the sensors are busy on the t-lams the sensors are busy on the spear threes we can sneak through some of these makos they'll have a top speed of mark i can't even remember i think mark eight and an impact velocity of just under Mark 5. They're very capable weapons, at least in DCS, with a cost mounting nearly $10 billion to America and UK right now. SAMs. Amer Reds have now fired over 350 SAMs. And you can see them all coming out now. They're trying to deal with these Makos. Eventually, we will run them out of SAMs. Look at that view. Again, I apologize for not having good views today, viewers, but I need to show what's going on all over the battle, not just make pretty views. I would... Love to go back and do that, but that is what it is. Mako's are they getting taken out. Ah, we just missed time the Mako shot, so they didn't arrive quite on time. And Reds had just enough headroom, as you can see. But never mind, the battle is still young. Still, Reds are winning, winning, winning. Blues are losing, losing, losing. Another big salvo of 12 Makos made it through. And the Russians have reacted late, late, late to it. Could it get through again? I suspect it will. They've shot too late. The speed is now scrubbing off the Makos. Come on, go faster, faster, faster. One's knocked through on the carrier. One's got through on the carrier. Ah, damn, it didn't quite get through. CPU's getting all chewed up. Bam, on the carrier. Two got through, three got through, four got through. Five got through, six got through. Damage to the carrier, it's in red! We now have a red carrier in red! It's now a draw, draw, draw! No, in fact, they're still winning because they've still sunk one of our ships and we haven't sunk any of their ships. Let's keep going. A huge amount of 470 HQ9s are going after the t lambs now. We are going to run them. And look! Uh, and we've managed to sneak some NACO speakers through. Only one set because the Hornets of Peter have been shot down. Miss! Hit! Ah, we'll keep plastering, we'll keep battering at their door, viewers. Spear 3's coming in now, these will have the same effect to the t lambs and they will suck red defences, they will suck red radar, radars and resources, so eventually a Mako will get through. Here's another lone Mako that got through from a lone Hornet, but the YJ-21s are still coming, YJ-12s are still coming in. Okay, no further damage to American ships. Things are coming in, more drips and drabs, but this is a bad attack here. Let's hope we can defeat this. Wow, Reds have fired 500 Sams to 740 Blue Sams. Cost to Red of $5 billion almost now. Cost to Blue of nearly $10 billion. And we're taking out these YJ-12s with ease. And that's brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. More KH-35s going towards the British carrier group. And I'm glad the Supersonics are not being shot at the Britons, or they are. Yes, in fact, they are. These are coming towards Britain. I take that back. T-Lambs are finally getting into within strike range of the carrier groups, but they're being taken out by the HQ-9s. But what are they doing? They're draining the missiles. Every time, one has to be shot down by at least one HQ-9. 530 Russian SAMs fired. Let's have a quick look at one of the Russian ships firing. I mean, Chinese.
Small coalitions will fire multiple SAMs towards each single target. That's why you'll see more SAMs fired than the single targets. Uh, missiles shot at it. That's just how it works. It looks like the Russians are out of missiles. We've got a non-stealth Tomahawk's going to get through just by pure attrition and obliteration. We've run the Russians out of self-defense missiles. Or maybe not. I don't know. A Gorshkov's been hit and it's down to yellow health. Uh, a Gorshkov's been hit there. Something's got to get through. Something will leak. More missiles fired. A huge amount of Spear 3 anti ship missiles. A kind of decoy missiles, if you like, being shot. More Makos out. A full salvo of Makos out there. But another salvo. Two salvos of KH-35. One salvo of YJ-12 here on the Americans here. Will they run out of missiles? I don't know. Because 760 have been fired. It's close. Also KH-35 here attacking the British. How many missiles have the British got? I'm not sure. Spear 5! Where did that come from? Spear 5 supersonic anti-ship missiles have been fired at 37 and a half minutes. From the British Type 26, is that's excellent work. Also, we've got Mako here going in. And another twin salvo of Mako. That's unstoppable, unstoppable, unstoppable. But first, the YJ-12s. Terminal maneuvers happening. Missiles being intercepted. 560 red. Sam's fired. 600 760. Blue have now fired more anti-ship missiles than red. I've got to see the Makos. I've got to see the Makos. No, I haven't. I've got to see this guy. Oh, what did an Arlie Berg just got hit? An Arlie, another Arlie Berg just got hit. Oh, fuck's sake. Why can't I press the right button today? I'm all bollocks today. Damn it. Another Arlie Berg pretty much lost. America is getting smashed, smashed, smashed as they run out of missiles to defend themselves. And they've got salvos and more missiles to come in. And the Spear 3 are now wasting the... Come on. China's out of missiles. China's out of missiles. China is not out of missiles! Bugger off you! Yes! 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 Finally! End league! The end is nigh! Mako gets through on the Chinese carrier and smashes their defence! They just had nothing left. Sporadic HQ-10s, but well, you saw as much as me. I don't need to say, but the carrier's not down yet, so nothing's been won! Mako's about to finish off the Russian carrier! Whoosh! Nothing will be operating more from this carrier, viewers. All right, a cost of red of $7.5 billion, a cost of blue of $9.9 .9 billion, and more ships will be lost almost certainly. Chinese carrier is hit, and it's caused a massive delay, but I think it might still be operational. I just don't know until we see what happens. So it's not over yet, viewers. We need more Makos. We need more Makos now. Tomahawks now got in within danger range. So much has been used, and we've now got SeaWiz going out on something. I don't even know what's happening over there. I saw Seawiz there. China is clutching at straws. It's absolutely clutching at straws to try and stop these last minute Tomahawks. Seawiz is making its move just but the Makos come over the top to finish up the carrier. Ooh, whoosh! Brilliant, brilliant, deceptive work. Oh, God, it's got one pixel left. But here come the Spear 3, and we've overrun their carrier group. We've absolutely overrun it with absolute saturation plus speed. And we have the carrier group. It's still got one pixel of health yet. But how long can it really last? Seconds, in my opinion, as the oh, t lamps finally make it in. All kinds of calibre. Five inches, four inches, three inches, two inches. Everything's firing. All the small missiles are firing. It's made it. It's made it. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you a carrier completely obliterated in the first come on! God damn it. Something's gonna make it through. Oh, oh, everything hurts at this point. But the spear fires to the British are gonna gosh, surely gonna finish it off. And more spear threes. They're defending the spear threes. Give me another salvo of Makos, and I will give you a win. More Makos coming. Those Americans just keep slapping and slapping harder. As we see now, the main threat to China is these Spear 5s. They've been shot at 160 miles by the British carry group at some point, and they're going to finish off this carrier. It can't be stopped. It's nearly, it's marked two and a half. It's sea hugging. Come on. As you see, those missiles are not good enough. They need to HQ 9s, which they don't have anymore. A terminal pull up, and finally, China is out. Out, out of the battle. Goodbye, sir. All they have now is what's airborne, which is probably quite a lot. No, it's not. I think they've just used everything. I think they've just used everything. Let me check. It's group nine there. Okay, the last group. Oh, God, I can't remember. I can't remember. No, they're ten. They're ten. And there's ten. There's their last group. The other two got hit on the carrier. They managed to get all but two aircraft up. So there's still a threat on both sides as the adrenaline starts to wear off.
The ruins of the battle can start to be seen as C-Scepters take out those YJ-12s. It's almost over. China has one more salvo. One more salvo of missiles to fire, plus these. But we've seen them get through even in this battle. We've seen them get through. They can still take a carrier out. And that has to be the biggest scoreboard we've ever seen, viewers. 13 billion to rare, 10 billion. Man, I got the biggest headache in the world. Ah, uh, in we go. We are 42 minutes into the sim and it now seems like a lifetime. America have nothing to fight with. They have nothing to fight with. But they just don't care at the moment. And we're very lucky that they targeted these ships and not the carrier. Okay, they've got more coming through. They could still sink the carrier. A cost of 12 billion to blue, 13 billion to red, and it's not over yet. Both carriers are sunk on red, but there is more to go, and all these poor Chinese gentlemen now have to fly to Bodo in Norway. As I said it, Bodo, look, he's given up. The international sign that I've given up, his hook is down. There are no more anti-ship missiles to be fired by blue, but still a salvo plus one aircraft here that managed to escape the final blast. It's not over yet. We can't call it yet. Oh, Jesus, look, I can see why Russia ran out of missiles. Red ran out of missiles. They fired 767 SAMs. That's why they ran out. 827 fired by Blue. So that's why Blue ran out. Everyone has fired everything at this point. Bad news is these YJ-21 12s are now coming for Britain. And I'm worried that we haven't got anything to defend with. Let's go and have a look. Type 45 is out. Oh, it's not out. It's still got some missiles. We've still got some sea scepters left. Thank God for that. And thank God the last salvo was fired at Britain as well in that case. Because America have nothing left. They have nothing, nothing to give. Not a single ESSM left to defend with. Viewers, I'll start analysing the battle. It started off with an air-to-air -air war and blue. It was pretty much even. Blue just won it. I'm surprised they didn't do better, to be honest. But... There are a lot of factors and there's a lot of stuff going on there. Did they capitalize on that win? Not really. They only had, what, three jets left at the end and they were out of missiles, so they couldn't go and attack the anti shippers anyway. So basically, it was a draw in terms of the air to air war. Then the ships opened fire and they managed to get missiles through amazingly on both blue carriers, bringing Queen Eliz down to red and bringing, bringing a super carrier still in green, but hitting them and starting to take down escort ships. Then the blues just, just managed to start getting Makos up and the Makos were doing what. What's damaged? The first sets of Makos, hypersonic missiles from America, did not hit any ships. Uh, instead, we had to wait until the T Lambs got to the Reds to start sucking away the missiles, as well as the Spear 3. And this could only be done with the Spear 3 and the Tomahawks all reaching. So we needed our carriers to survive, and lucky they did. Finally, with enough missiles sucked away, our last Sea Scepter is going out now, we managed to get start getting their ship killers in. That is, the Mako hypersonic started to breach the defenses, and finally, the Spear. Spear 5 anti-ship missiles fired by the Type 26 frigates managed to get through. But I can only say just, just, just because of the things that managed, the chain of events that managed to happen before that. This battle could easily, I could run this battle again and more missiles would have got thrown to the blue and the blues would have lost. But it is what it is. When I run it, I run it and that's just the, what we have to accept, I'm afraid. But what a brilliant fight from Red. In money costs, it's almost the same. 13 million to 12 million, depending on how you want to judge the battle. But I would judge the battle with carriers lost. And this is an ineffective carrier group now, or two ineffective carrier groups. There are just two missiles left and we've got to wait because you never know. You, you've seen these get through before. Very, very lucky that they're attacking the British and not the Americans. As I said, Americans have given everything they've got. And they've got nothing left. The Americans were beaten at the beginning because they had probably 50 anti-ship missiles in a big group coming towards them. Supersonic lowdown mixed in with their own Tomahawks. What that means is when they fire their SM-6 ESSM active missiles, a lot of them would have actually shot down their own Tomahawks due to the design of how the American missiles work. So it was just bad luck to have a bunch of baddie missiles mixed in with your goodie missiles. Missiles. And that's how it got through. But like I said, they escaped with the skin of their teeth. The final attack, the final death throes of China. China got all of their anti-shippers up apart from two aircraft. Uh, Russia probably got all their anti-shippers up as well. In fact, I'm almost certain they would have. We'll finish this and then we'll go over the score. Sea Scepter's up. We just, just, just had enough Sea Scepters. Let's have a look at this Type 45. It was his last Sea Scepter, the last Sea Scepter. Oh, come on, you could not write this. You could not script these battles, even if you were so inclined to do that, viewers. Absolutely brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. One down. And two down. End of battle, viewers. 
Let's go over the scoreboard. Reds have lost 44 aircraft. That is 17J35, 7J15s and 20 MiG-29s. Basically... Yeah, two-thirds of the MiG-29s. They lost three ships. The Russian carrier, the Chinese carrier, and the Type 052D destroyer. And I've just started talking, but look what's happening. Russia has no way to defend itself. They've decided to shoot an escort ship. We're going to have to wait for this, I'm afraid. Down to Mark 6. Down to Mark 5. Finish you off at Mark 4.9. Bang. I tried to defend itself with this five-inch gun, or whatever, I don't know. Something... That's a dead ship. Brilliant. Four ships have been lost on red. One, Gorshkov, 1052, and the two uh, carriers. Red weapons used. 48 PL-15s fired. Uh, quite a low amount, in my opinion, but it is what it is. It's all model fairly, I can assure you, viewers. Six PL-10s, quite low. 232 anti-ship missiles. I say again, 232 red anti-ship missiles. Hypersonic, supersonic, and subsonic. All launched at America and Britain. Luckily, it was scattered kind of evenly. If it had gone biased towards one, no hope. It would, we would have lost. A staggering 767 SAMs were fired of... Ignore the RIM-116, but the HQ-10, HQ-9, the 9M-337, the 9M-960, and the 9M-100. At a total taxpayer cost of $13.7 billion. The Blues lost 32 aircraft, 15 F-35B of Britain and 16 F-35C of America. One Super Hornet. Wow, only one Super Hornet was shot down. Two Arleigh Burke destroyers. They were destroyed, but they did their job. That's what they're there for, to protect the carrier, even if it means losing their own lives. Blue weapons fired, 76, so nearly twice as many beyond visual range missiles. That's the Meteor and the AIM-260. The reason is that the MiGs are much easier to shoot at, and so they would have shot more. 16 close range weapons fired as well, just in better parameters. A staggering 312 anti-ship missiles fired, 312, most of which were the Spear 3. As well as that, 90 air to ground missiles were fired, which probably would have classified the Mako hypersonic missile, I'm guessing. So that's an awful lot of them were fired, that's my guess. A staggering 856 SAMs fired. C Scepter, Asta 30, RIM 116, SM2, SM6, ESSM, and SM3 at a taxpayer cost of $12.7 billion. In both terms, Red lose. They lost the most money and they also lost the most ships. But what they did a brilliant fight and they almost, almost won. Viewers, again, I apologize for not showing more 3D views, but the overview is the most important. And I hope you agreed that was a brilliant battle. And to be honest, I don't really know how to improve that. Which leads us on to our last talking point on my little checklist of stuff we have to go over today, viewers. What you want to see next. That is the 2027 carrier groups finished. And it's been really impressive. We had bugs along the way, but what we did is we fixed them as we got towards the end. And as you saw, I don't think there was any bugs there at all. I think it was absolutely perfect, as far as I can think. Um, so what do we want to do for the next series? Well, I can see two options, viewers. One, we can go for a realistic carrier series. These that I've been making so far are not realistic carrier series. You would not have carriers 200 miles away from each other, just opening up kind of broadside. They're entertainment, and they are brilliant entertainment. I hope that you would agree, and really interesting as well. The weapons and stuff are all modeled as accurately as we can, but the tactics are not. We can go for a realistic series. I've done some testing in the background because I thought you might request this of US versus China as the first match. It's very, very different to what you see here. It's very slow paced. For instance, the Chinas open up at 700 miles with their long range missiles. And then the British in response send out Super Hornets at 700 miles. It takes two hours, two hours just to cover the distances involved. Because that's how a real carrier group versus carrier group would operate, assuming that there was no mitigating factors. It's very, very boring, but more realistic. Do you want me to do that? I don't know. If I can't get views on it, it's pointless me doing it. A huge amount of work is required. The other option, viewers, is that we just do the next iteration of this. Let's call it, say, the 2030 series. If we do that, there's loads of stuff, loads of stuff to add in. Brits, sorry, America, get new, almost everything, they get new, Oh, God, I can't, they get a new plane, NGAD. I've been building that in the background. We've been building that. It's ready to go uh, to replace the Super Hornets. Uh, missiles, Peregrine missile. It's done. It's tested. In many war games, it's ready to go. You've got more anti, other anti-ship missiles to add in, as you guys have been asking in the background. You've got your SM-6, your, R, your AIM-174. So you've got a whole series of across the board of American stuff to add in. Brits. Oh, God, I can't even think now. But, yes, we get new missiles. We get uh, exterior-mounted Spear 3 uh, to improve the F-35s. Uh, we get a new ship, the Type uh, 31 frigate. So a whole bunch of new stuff for the Brits. What about the Chinese? They get new stuff. They've just today had their improved J-35 
35 in. They get new anti-ship missile that I can think of. They get, oh, they get the PL-21, so they get new air-to-air -air missiles. They get a huge, in fact, they get a huge makeover as well to improve them. And what about the Russians? The Russians probably get most of all. They get their uh, Gorshkov M's. They get their Kirov Battle Cruiser, which will be a freaking game changer. It will just smash everything. Probably a bunch more stuff. I can't even think. My brain's just mush at the moment. Do you want that? Personally, I think that's the way we should go. I can't do both because of the amount of resources it takes to make these. It takes a huge amount of resources. Let me know your thoughts. Viewers, that's the end of the 2027 series. I hope you enjoyed that. And bye-bye.